me a lot since I can keep going up the ladder. Seeing all those champions and wanting to become part of that list. The drivers are racing aggressive with me, I'll race aggressive with them. The scholarship's incredibly important. It's obviously the goal for every driver. I'm going to rewrite what happened last year in terms of that rivalry with him getting the best of me. When you win a race, it's the best feeling ever. The field is stacked. Hopefully this year we can have good luck. Having the scholarship money to move up next year is really all I'm aiming for. We are in NOLA Motorsports Park in Louisiana. Really exciting. I'm happy to be here. I'm feeling pretty good. I have been for a couple months now. I've been preparing in the off-season for this, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully just have some consistent results throughout the whole season. I haven't been to the city, but uh, I hear a lot of things about Bourbon Street. Obviously, I'm not old enough to go to Bourbon Street, but... Uh... I do like jazz. I do like classical music, so maybe I've come to the right place. The day I got back, I was on the sim for NOLA, you know, just preparing for this race because I, you know, like you said, I really, really, really want to win. Love this place. Great track and obviously a great city. We had a really good weekend at St. Petersburg, so three weeks is a long time to be out of a race car. Well, I'm on my strong suit, so I think I'm really just going to push my limits and really push the car. Just, I am excited. Racing is actually my best. Okay, you know what, bro? You want to? You can come over here and get us. He's foreign. Apart from that, I don't really see much. Turn one's nice, turn two's nice, or three, whatever the hell you call it. You guys don't know about that? Jimmy is me. Breaking news. <laughs> Ever since like I was young, especially at the racetrack, my close friends and my dad call me Jimmy. Just like for no reason. I'm feeling pretty good, uh, pretty relaxed. Uh, you know, qualifying in the beginning didn't go exactly how I wanted to. I was like, you know, overthinking, overdriving. Um, just thinking about too many things, but then, you know, came in, uh, changed tires, kind of relaxed a little bit, uh, went P3, so. Uh, relieved more than anything. It's been a while since I had a pull and a good pull like that where it was close and everything was put together, the car was great. You know, starting pull, hopefully we can finish right there, so. I think the team dynamic, it, it, it's unique. It's, it's a really, really good feeling, uh, to be honest. I have two really strong teammates. Um, you know, a, a lot of the sessions we come in, we're all like putting the car in the same tenth of a second. So it's it's very competitive between the three of us, but we're all here to, to help each other build and get better. It's really nice to be able to share the data across three really solid cars. I think those guys are all rolling out on their second set. We getting popped right now. Don't say anything. It's gonna get us all canceled. Yeah, this year. Man. They're, they're not new to, to racing or, or racing me. Uh, I had a chance to go wheel to wheel with both of them. Um, I definitely do learn a lot. I learn what to do and what not to do. They all teach me something new every day. I mean, even off the track, like we teach each other like new things all the time and just watching Liam, like what he does to prepare and what he does on track is just really helpful. Well, obviously she raced last year in USF Juniors and she did a couple races in Formula 4, and she's been improving massively as a female. It's kind of like the rules have flipped now because I'm almost that guy, you know, I'm the lucky now for this year. I think that, you know, he was a very big help for me, um, and I have to thank him for that for sure. You can definitely tell on the morning of the race, everyone's tenser. Everyone knows that they're gonna have to go and put their best foot forward in the race and it might cause them to crash. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the racing. You know, I like getting my elbows out and racing people. Um, you know, it's cool to be racing uh, a Weldon, Sebastian, you know, he's really talented. Obviously, first round momentum's gonna be huge. If you come out of here with a win, a couple wins, you're gonna be able to carry that all year long. But on the other hand, we've got a stacked field. We've got the likes of Weldon, you've got Jack, you've got Liam. It's going to be a packed field, and at the front is going to be quite tight. Round one of three here on the weekend. Green, green, green! The 2024 USF Junior season is underway.
And it looks like Weldon's taking the lead away from McNeil. You'll see he is long gone. You can't even see Weldon now. What a way to get it done early on opening race. It felt really good. Um, I was able to lead at the start, and then I was just able to keep chipping away and just got a pretty big gap. I love passing. Like, send me the bat every race, and I'll pass everyone. I just love it. I loved it in karting. I love it now. I'll love it forever. Oh, contact. Somebody's got into the barrier on the exit. McNeely's gonna try to run around the outside. He's got good momentum. Liam McNeely going by Weldon. Winner of race number two, Liam McNeely. 12 laps to cap off the weekend. Green, 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 and a good start. Oh, a little bit of a hip check coming from turn number one. Weldon's gonna grab the lead. Another victory for Sebastian Weldon in the opening. Carvel is so good. Oh, incredible. And we are underway. Green, green, green. Big dive bomb move down the bottom. Oh, and Brandt had to check it up. That was Corey trying to go for it. Look at this, around the outside, Garcia into the lead. That kid has some balls. I So I broke past the quality reference point, like a good solid 30 meters past it. And just, I, agree. I saw that. It's behind. That was insane. When he passed me, I was yeah. like, if this kid makes the corner. Dude, I know, because I saw him all the way in the dust, and I was like, he's not doing that. He's not making it. It's not going to stick. And the, the kid just was like, nope. So he, just, he went up the inside, and they were on the radio with me. They were like, you know, driving. And they were like, oh, oh, on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. that in my helmet. Yeah. I was like, dang. I was like, there's no way he makes the corner. Yeah, you know, Max is definitely the benchmark. He's the goal that I think both of us will be looking for, for sure. So. Yeah, we'll just have to see how the rest of the season plays out. Yeah, someone starts the year with three straight wins. You know, they got they got that dog in him. So, you know, it's uh, he's gonna be challenging. But you know, I didn't sign up to do this to win every single race by like 10 seconds and make it easy. So you know, it's you like having competition. You like that. You know, always trying to push to get to somebody. And then you know, occasionally you're the benchmark. Occasionally they are. But it just makes it you know more enjoyable when you do get the results and stuff. By all oh, drivers going around, that's Chris Dulu. He's looped it. Rolling around the outside, contact go! They get together, Cox and Giafoni together. Came from nowhere, but it's racing, so early in the season, that's what it is. For sure it was a late move, but I'm not, I'm not sure Elliot saw me. I'm gonna watch the replay to see what uh, really happened, and then I'm gonna take the action. Chris Dulu will win race number three here at Nola Motorsports Park. They're always fast in 2000. We've seen that over the years. Pro, they've always been pretty fast. Like last year, they won, but sometimes they're up and down, but they usually have a strong car. And this year, I think they'll be fast. I think just St. Pete was, they started a little bit behind the ball like we did, and we just kind of got not really lucky, but we just figured out the setup between qualifying and race. Obviously, you want to win the championships, not only for, for you know, the, the pedigree, but just because it, it allows, the, allows you to keep progressing up towards IndyCar. The scholarship program we have here is, is unmatched by any other. So this year, it's, it's a lot more of a dogfight. It's going to be a long fight. Uh, last year, it was, you know, it was, it was Lockie, it was Nikita, and it was me that were, were solidly at the front, pretty much. Lockie, you know, he's, of course, he's leading the championship right now. He's uh, been, I think, P5 to P10. So we'll see what happens, but, you know, we have 15 turns here, and they're only good at three turns usually because turn three. We are waiting for the call, looking at the start line. Everybody looks good. Green, green, green. Look at this challenge here to the inside. Book it. Throws it to the inside at turn number three. Yaney's going to take the lead. Lead away. Johnson is here. Oh, driver spun. Ethan Ho. He tapped the wall. Hunter Yaney. Checkered flag. He will win in USF Pro Race. Oh, Nikita Johnson's going to take the point lead. That's a given. He was only eight points behind Lockie Hughes. He's going to make up 20 plus. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hey, you really told to get it. Yeah, you're smart, bro. Sorry. Don't touch here. All right, we'll do it. Hopefully, we can pull away, check out a little bit, and then smooth sailing. But we'll see. Anything can happen. Ready to go. I know what we were missing last time, so it's time to go and execute. We've got a good car, just uh, need a little bit better of a driver. 
Johnson going to work here on Hunter Yaney. He has finally gone around the outside bucket. New leader, Nikita Johnson. Johnson, I expect doing a check out now. I'm just gonna say that right now. Dominant performance for DRD Racing. Johnson with the win. Right now, I'm ahead of all my competitors in the championship, so that's good, but hopefully we can go win the championship so I can get the uh, Indy next ride, which would be pretty epic. Finally, that was a, uh, took a long time to get rolling this season. A lot of bad results to start off the year, but I guess we're back now.